you must already hate me because of the name of the video roll the intro hi i'm diya and you're watching reading with my cat and the clip of the microphone i have for some reason like i am an idiot and i left it upstairs so yeah you will just have to bear with me bear with this you know like bad audio quality for this video only for this video like i promise the next one i will make sure that everything is you know like okay so i'll keep it on my lap so that you can you know hear me and today's video is going to be a haul video so about this video i would like to talk about two things first first thing is i don't buy that many books in a month like five is the maximum i would say so you won't get you know like haul video of like 10 20 30 books or something like that like first of all i'm just starting out with booktube so i obviously i won't get any books from publishers and second books are pricey you guys like i this month i splurged on ninth rain okay i'm coming to it i splurged on a book i paid 900 bucks for the book for a book 900 bucks <sighs> so books are pricey so i mean five books a month is more than enough so yeah you will get hauls but many hauls like you know three four books or something like that second thing i go into my books like almost blindly and i what i do is i just read the whatever is on the back of the book and that's it and most of the time whatever is on the back on the back of the book it's very vague so like in the hall people usually you know describe the books so i'll try to describe the books but i'm going to struggle uh the first book is the lies of lock lamora i got this book uh, in the beginning of the month and i've already like read where is the bookmark yeah i've already read like around 100 pages of it and i was thinking of making a reading vlog of this book but i mean vlogs are really difficult to make because you need to like you can't just show someone reading a book and you know call it a vlog you need to put in b rolls of you making you know food or some beverage or you going out or doing fun stuff and i don't do any of that <laughs> our house is a cluttered mess and i don't go out i read in my bed and that's it so like my reading vlogs will be like me in bed reading a book that's it so i was thinking of making a reading vlog but you know i i won't be making that so the book is about okay here starts my struggle the book is about a group of thieves they are not really thieves actually they are more like con men so a group of con men and they like in this uh, fantastical city of uh, camor they uh, con the nobles the nobles are called dons i think yeah me maybe so basically they you know fool the rich people into you know giving them money and that's what they do and maybe you know they get embroiled into some sort of uh oh my god <laughs> i was <laughs> squishing the microphone anyway uh so they get embroiled into you know bigger troubles or something like that or i don't know what happens basically on the back of the book it says that you know like lock is this you know master thief and yeah that's it so that's the lies of lock lamora i read i've read 100 pages and i liked it like i really like the you know banter between the guys like you know uh, the, they have this uh, new 
a kid working for them and they're like making him do all the you know rough stuff and uh like rowing the boat and what not and they're like this is for you you know moral education so yeah i i was really having fun i kind of went into a reading slump and that's why i haven't continued with the book uh i will be continuing with the book but first i need to read the next book that i'm going to talk about and that is ninth rain this is the one i paid 900 bucks for again i'm going to struggle i have no idea what the book is about although like i watch elliot brook and she you know like really loves the book and almost in every video like she will tell you about the book so in this world there is something called the ninth rain uh no there is not something called the ninth rain like they have you know like in this cyclical fashion they have uh wars you know coming to their place like people from a different place will come and attack them and it happens like once every you know 100 or 200 some years and the humans they have no idea about this threat like they know the threat is coming but they have no idea what kind of threat it is and the only people who know about it is this is this race of people called the aborans and these people are kind of like elves but uh, their long life like they are not immortal but they live very long but the thing is they uh like live very long with the aid of the sap of a tree uh with this magical tree and what happened is that the magical tree suddenly you know it died and the sap was not there so they started drinking blood of humans and instead of you know extending their lives or something the blood of the humans they it gave them a blood sickness so uh, they died out and uh, only few people are left and it's a group of you know one everon one witch and another you know like kind of indiana jones like lady uh, they kind of set out to find out the truth about this you know ninth rain uh, i mean the conflict that is going to come the war that is going to come So yeah that's it i think i did a pretty good job of explaining it <laughs> okay so the next book is uh sorcery of thorns sorcery of thorns i picked it up just because you know elias reads uh he said that uh, it is pretty similar to house moving castle like vibe wise like the vibe is pretty similar to that so and you must know how much i love house moving castle like i've already made two videos about it like two out of three videos on my channel are about house moving castle so yeah and i wanted you know because i went into this reading slump so i wanted something you know something of a comfort read and i have read uh, one book by margaret rogerson the author of this book uh, like two years ago uh, the other one the one with the fay and it was you know it was nice comforting uh, like a quick read so i was like you know it ha- uh, like i'll just pick this up and i'll give it a shot and all that i still haven't read it like it arrived few days back and i'm like yeah i'm not in the mood to read so this book it has a library full of magical books grimoires grimoires i have no idea how to say it and this late this girl she is in charge of like you know there are people in charge of uh, taking care of the books and what not and she is one of them and something happens and she gets blamed for it and then she goes on the run or something like that <laughs> this part i completely made up i have no idea if she goes on the run or not <laughs> so <laughs> she probably goes on the run 
with uh, like there's this Elias said that there's this calcifer like character in the book so probably a demon kind of a thing is there with her uh like a demon com- like an animal companion or something like that and also there's this guy with her so that's where the you know banter comes in like you know how and sophie's banter so yeah i think that's the book okay the next book <laughs> the devil all the time i i read this thing like 3 to 4 times I still have no idea. Like I even read the you know book around fifty pages, and I'm like I have no idea where this is going, and I'll try my best to describe it. So it follows three storylines. In one storyline, uh, it's uh, set in the uh, you know post World War Two era, like in the nineteen fifties uh, USA. I don't remember which area like the uh place the setting of the book it plays a huge part in it apparently so oh okay uh, I got this book why I got why did I get this book I mean I watched people by dreams catch from people by dreams you know talk about it a lot and i thought you know like it sounds fun and also there's a movie on netflix uh in which robert pattinson pattinson you know plays a character and it's supposedly like really good or something like that so i was like i'll give it a shot like i mean why not i so yeah it is set in the 1950s and it follows uh three people not people three storylines one storyline is this pastor who is running from the law the other storyline is this um couple and the guy is you know trying to find a cure for his wife and the guy worships a log in the forest yeah that's not a spoiler that's like right in the like prologue of the book and uh, so yeah and the other part other one is so this is the one that you know like i found really intriguing is this couple who like a couple serial killer like a couple who kill you know women like who get women uh, on from the road like hitchhikers and kill them so the these are the three you know like storylines and these somehow converge and these i don't know how they converge like i just know i don't even know if they converge i just know these three storylines are there and i hope they converge i have no idea what's going to happen in the book and so yeah that's it. and the last book we have is and i dark and don't you love the cover like i really love the cover i got the book just because of the cover like i mean i would have read the book but i could have you know got in the kindle or something like that but i got the paperback just for the cover so good so and i dark and you don't even have you know any synopsis on the back of the book and i got to know about it i think jashana from jashana reads uh, she i think really likes the book so at first i thought it was you know a fantasy but it's not a fantasy it's a historical fiction and it's about what if uh, vlad the Imp- impaler if he was a girl and that's the story and i have no idea who vlad the impaler is i mean from what the name suggests he impaled people i guess why or how or i mean i don't know but yeah and so it's like you know like in the dark set in the dark ages it's about this girl uh becoming you know the leader of a group of a tribe and proving her worth or something like that 
anyway so it's a short video that's it i don't have anything else so that's it you guys i will see you in the next one if you like the video hit the like button subscribe if you want to see this you know <laughs> okay i'll see you in the next one bye